excitement here in the crossroads today as the Quero High School Gobblers heading to the state for the 11th time in history. We've got our own Abby Rocha and Sean Coffey, and they've got the latest on the Mean Green. First, we've got Abby live in Quero with a bit of some gobbler history. Good morning, Abby. Yes, Haley, that's right. Along with making their 11th appearance, they're the second team in history to attend at least one championship game over a span of five consecutive decades. And let me tell you, Haley, this town is painted green and their history is filled with tradition that many of the alumni say has begun at a very young age. What they want to be is gobblers and they, they look at the, the, the tradition and the people going to state when they're little bitty kids and the, and the kids in the stands, you know, they have that dream. They have that dream that they want to one day play in the state final. Victor Mathis, former state winning Quero football and track coach, says that the tradition is more than just football. It, it brings the community together, all color, all races, you know, and it, and it binds you and, it, and, and it, makes, it, it makes it better for the town, it makes it better for the community. Brought up in Quero himself, Mathis took 10 of his teams to state, including the last winning state football team in 1987. Day by day, we get better and better. His favorite quote he shared with his athletes is still used in locker rooms today. You know, when I started coaching in junior high, I was the one that originally started that saying. And, you know, it, it makes me proud to know that they did carry it over for 37 years. While competition is fierce, Mathis says it's all about spending time together, sharing memories and good times that will never be forgotten. That's what God wants us to do. You know, we want he wants us to be together as one and not and not divide it. And while I'm here in Quero, our Sean Coffey is getting ready for all the action and excitement in Arlington. Sean, how's it going out there? Hi, Abby. Good morning. That's right. We're live here in Arlington. We'll be bringing you all the latest as part of our ongoing coverage of Quero's state title run. We're just about four hours away from kickoff here at AT&T Stadium, which is scheduled for 11 a.m. It's Quero's first tra trip to state, rather, since 2004. It's the 11th in school history, which ties them for second all time with the famed mojo of Permian Odessa. So they won't be playing under the lights, but we couldn't be excited to be getting you all the action up north here. We'll have Gobblers head coach Travis Reeve, player reactions, plus live recaps at 5 and 6. You can also get the latest, obviously, at our app and on our Facebook and website, CrossroadsToday.com. So stay tuned, Crossroads. We'll have everything you need as Quero looks to make history in Jerry World. And Haley, I must say, the sunrise shift is not as easy as it looks. Back to you in the studio. Now you couldn't be more right there, Sean, but we make it do. Good luck to the gobblers today. We are rooting for you here at News Center 25, especially here on Sunrise. So